This is the judgment of the court in Aspen Underwriting Limited and Credit Europe Bank NV. This is a case about whether the courts of England and Wales or the courts of the Netherlands have jurisdiction over a dispute relating to insurance. Aspen Underwriting insured a vessel called the Atlantic Confidence for $22 million. In 2013, the vessel sank in the Gulf of Aden and the insurers entered into a settlement agreement with the owners of the vessel, under which they paid the insured sum to insurance brokers, who in turn paid that sum to a Dutch bank, Credit Europe Bank NV, which had financed the owner's purchase of the vessel. The bank held a mortgage over the vessel, was named as lost payee in the insurance policy, and took an assignment of the policy. But the bank was not a party to the insurance policy or the settlement agreement. The bank, at the request of the owners, issued a letter of authority to the insurers to pay the money to insurance brokers and discharged them of liability on so doing. So when the insurers paid the money to the brokers, the brokers in turn paid the bank. Three years later, in an action which did not involve the insurers, the Admiralty Court held that the owners of the vessel had deliberately sunk her. This led the insurers to commence legal proceedings in the High Court in London to set aside the settlement agreement and to recover the money which they'd paid out. The insurers sued both the owners and the bank. The bank pleaded that the High Court had no jurisdiction because the bank was domiciled in the Netherlands and under the Brussels regulation recast, which I will call the regulation, the insurers could sue it only in the courts of the Netherlands. The insurers relied on two different grounds to establish the jurisdiction of the English courts. First, there was an exclusive jurisdiction clause in the insurance policy. And secondly, they claimed that their damages claims and their claims to restitution were, under the regulations, matters relating to tort. The bank argued that those provisions could not apply, as under Section 3, Article 14 of the regulation, the claims concerned, and I quote, matters relating to insurance. At first instance, Mr. Justice Tier held that the bank was not bound by the exclusive jurisdiction clause as it was not a party to the policy, but he also held that it could not rely on Section 3 of the regulation because, according to the interpretation of the regulation by the Court of Justice of the European Union, the, the CJEU, the provisions concerned with insurance were available only to protect a policyholder who was, in fact, the weaker party in its negotiations with an insurer, and the bank was not a weaker party. He held that the insurers could pursue in England only their claim for damages, as their claim for restitution was not a matter relating to tort. The Court of Appeal affirmed Mr. Justice Tier's decisions. Both the insurers and the bank appealed to this court. In a unanimous judgment, this court dismisses the insurer's appeal and allows the bank's appeal, declaring that the High Court has no jurisdiction over any of the insurer's claims. The court affirms the conclusions of the judge and the court of appeal that, as an assignee, the bank was not bound by the exclusive jurisdiction clause of the policy because it was not a party to the policy, nor under EU law was it a successor to the owners under that policy. The bank has not asserted its rights under the policy, but has left it to the owners to negotiate and agree the settlement by which it has benefited. The court holds that the insurer's claims are matters relating to insurance within the meaning of section three of the regulation. Article 14 can be invoked not only by parties to the policy, but also beneficiaries and injured parties. The article did not detract from the general uh, rule of the regulation 
that a person should be sued in the courts of his or her domicile. On the contrary, it reinforces that rule. The court analyzes the jurisprudence of the CGAU and concludes that there is no weaker party exception to the protection of Article 14 based on a party's individual characteristics. Instead, the regulation protects certain categories, namely the policyholder, the insured, and the beneficiary without further qualification and uses the weaker party test only when somebody who is not uh, in those identified categories seeks to bring itself within the protection of Article 14. The result is that the insurers must pursue their claims against the bank in the Netherlands and not in England.